designed for ice. It comes apart here and there's a shallow <laughs> tray that will take ice in the bottom. A wooden grill fits over that upon which the deceased person is laid out. Then this whole upper portion fits over the body. It's lined with metal and that could all be chinked in with ice. So there was ice over the body, there was ice under the body. So during the calling hours of wait, you then saw the deceased person through this little elliptical oh, window. Oh, so you just see and this is the original glass. It's it has great imperfections in it. No no thing is quality control. Come the day of burial. The body was removed from the cooler and put into a coffin for burial purposes. This piece was the sole property of the undertaker. Mm -hmm. Any number of dead people have been in this cooler. It took about 40 to 45 years for embalming to then become the customary treatment of the dead. So by the early 20th century, then everybody was being embalmed. So it's been well over a hundred years since this cooler has been used. We had no funeral homes in Orleans County until 1922, the first one established by J.B. Merrill in Holly. Um, 